Hey there, it's Dr. Crypto in. I hope everybody's having a fantastic Saturday, fantastic weekend. I hope you're getting out there and having a great time because at the moment, what you tend to find is in, you know, when it comes to the weekends, you get that low liquidity. So Bitcoin crypto space is very highly manipulated. And uh, if you decide to leverage trades or something like that, just be very careful because obviously it's easy to get wicked out from either side, up or down. So just bear that one in mind. But yeah, like I said, give us a thumbs up and give us a like. It's always appreciated. And also, if you don't like what I'm doing, give us a thumbs down it helps out that algorithm and i'll say that on every video it helps out the algorithm gets the channel out there and all your support is much appreciated and i will say it again that i am not paid by crypto.com i'm not paid by any any project i am like you the people out there i'm like you basically just making a video i don't get paid for it bar a little bit of money from uh youtube but that's the, my only income uh, and that so i just wanted to put that out there's a bit of a disclaimer there as well like i do have an icy white card and i do hold, hold cro and bitcoin too so without further ado let's crack into it so we can see bitcoin in the moment sitting at sixty eight thousand dollars like i said the other week it was 57 but we're sitting at 68 not too bad at all and we're up 1.3 trillion dollars on the market cap for bitcoin and the current market cap is total is around about 2.6 trillion dollars so looking on the hourly chart, we can see Bitcoin is in this beautiful here, this basically suppression triangle here. So it's either going to do one or two things, which basically is building up to have a breakout. Now, is this going to break out down to the downside? Is it going to break up to the upside? Because at the moment, we've got on the hourly some areas of resist, support here at $67,000, at $66,000 to $65,000, and further down here at $61,000. But if we push to the upside, we've got a bit of resistance at seventy two, dollars and obviously just over $73,000 as well. But like I said, you just got to bear that in mind. Uh, from previous experiences if we've pumped up come monday we end up coming down a bit and it's also vice versa if we go down we end up coming back up because like i said a lot of liquidity starts to uh yeah dry up over the weekend so that's why for me i end up going out with the family and having a good time and then wait come back monday or sunday evening because sunday evening in uk time about five o'clock we start to see a little bit of price action happening because obviously we've got asia opening up as well so just bear that in mind uh low liquidity so we can have a look here on the four hourly at the moment. Well, basically what we can see, we have this beautiful uptrend here, uptrend here, but we've sort of broken structure a little bit here. We started to come down and then we've started to create a bit of a lower low here. But as you can see here, that wick is perfectly hit that $65,000 move. And then basically we move straight back up. But like I said, we've broken that structure. So hopefully over the weekend uh, or Monday that we sort of break this lower down structure and break to the upside but like i said bear in mind you know we could come down quite easily quite significantly and don't forget like you know we have these big moves to the upside we're going to get these big corrections as well of 20 to 30 percent now if you're holding old coins you've just got to bear in mind they could drop down even further they could drop down 30 40 50 percent so just bear that one in mind like when you see it's always great to see all your money going in the green but also you've got to bear in mind that you can drop down into the red as well so but for me i'm a long-term holder if it drops down you might if you might have a plan to say right okay well this is a dca an opportunity when we have these big corrections and especially uh, projects that you've missed out before on these big run-ups you might be tempted to get back into them like buy something you you've wanted to buy but obviously you sort of miss that boat a little bit so you just bear that one in mind but like i said we're breaking the structure in a moment we found a bit of support now let's see what happens throughout the day so just be a bit mindful about that liquidity so we can see here on the green fear as well we're still at 81 we've dropped down it's still extreme greed uh, so people it doesn't seem to be too worried about it at the moment about this bit of pullbacks that we've been having and uh you know so yeah looking at 81 percent. so yeah but don't forget also this is also what I mentioned about rec capital as well, because we've got the pre-halving in 33 days. And we can see here on the rec capital, and I put this in a previous video, if you check that on the, uh, the other day, basically it's what you call the pre-halving dump. So are we in that process? We certainly could well be. But he says also here, Bitcoin is currently in that re-accumulation around the old all-time high so at the moment it's a reaccumulation opportunity obviously like I said we could drop down a little bit more but then hopefully after the uh, bitcoin halving we start to make some really significant moves and you can see here 
what happened on the previous bull market we had the dip and then suddenly we had that major impulse move to the upside what i am watching very carefully on my radar as well is the bitcoin dominance we are coming down we are coming down we sort of topped up top it now we've broken structure and that dominance is coming down now what's good is it for me for all coins if this dominance start dominance starts significantly dropping down but bitcoin starts to go sideways or trickles down a little bit obviously that's going to be good for the altcoins because that's obviously going to help the altcoins to start to rally and maybe we have been seeing that with solana solana's been really kicking ass to be honest uh, that's really really been doing well and obviously we've got all the other coins uh, we've, we've also had those meme coins also Pepe and Shiba Inu all popping off as well maybe it's time for the layer ones now to make a move and don't forget we've got gaming as well so obviously we want our dominance to come down and then we want to see the alts start popping off in total three and as you can see there we're starting to move up to the upside uh at the moment we're, we're still down by 0.47 percent so just bear that one in mind we want that dominance to come down bitcoin just to ease off a little bit uh and then let's try to get back up there because we know some alts have dropped down quite significantly so but looking at the Bitcoin uh, ETF flows as well, it's slightly down on the 15th March. Bit, uh, BlackRock was 139 million and a total here of around about 198 million. So we were a little bit more than we were on the 14th. Not significantly though. Uh, it has been coming down a little bit. So let's hope it all starts picking back up in, in the week. So without further ado, let's go check out a little bit of Crypto.com and Kronos. So looking at a chart at the moment for CRO, we like I say we had that beautiful trend to the upside and we created that roundy top here where obviously Bitcoin did the same and dropped down significantly and obviously CRO dropped down quite hard as well and basically creating this v shape uh, recovery and basically we've got the trend line here and basically we bounce off this area of support here and now we're following the trail up so hopefully we can make our ways back up to that 16 pence mark. So at the moment, we are making our way up. We've got a lot of support here around about that 13 pence mark. And uh, we don't really, we're not gonna, I don't really think we're gonna come back down to nine, uh, nine cents. But obviously we're, we're getting that trail. There's a lot of volume, a lot of strength there, pushing it back up to the upside. Yeah, so looking on the daily, basically we've got that beautiful buy uh, south sign here. We push straight down into this looks out go smart trail. Look at that, wick straight into that smart trail, bounced off it, and like I said, we did that V-shaped recovery, and now we're pushing up. Because at the moment, we're in this between these two white lines here into this channel here. So obviously, if we could push up and break through this channel, like I said, we've got a bit of resistance up here around about 15, 16 uh, pence mark. So obviously, low liquidity, just got to be careful. But obviously, hopefully the CRO, CRO balls can come out and Scott keep on pushing us up to the upside. Because like I said, I'm watching that dominance of Bitcoin very closely. And hopefully we can keep on pushing up and hopefully that dominance comes down, which is going to help in terms of the balls pushing CRO back up to the upside but overall i have every faith in cro i really do think that one dollar we're going to hit one dollar fifty to two dollars is going to be in this bull run so yeah so it's basically just strap in hold tight sit back and enjoy the ride and like i say with bitcoin drops down obviously cro is going to take a bit of a hit as well but if you like i said you haven't put more money and you're willing to lose then you can sit back and just ignore the noise on Twitter. All the people are calling $10,000. They've been calling $10,000, some of these bears on Twitter, since we're $15,000. Now, if you listen to them, like unfortunately some people did, they're still waiting down at $15,000, thinking we're going to still hit $10,000. But thankfully for myself, I didn't listen to people like that. And I've made some nice gains because I have taken little bits of profits on, but also then when we have these drops, I have taken put a bit back in. You know, you've actually you've got to pay yourself a little bit, haven't you? So, uh, yeah. So overall, CRO is looking pretty strong, and the bulls have created a nice little bit of support down here on this smart trail around here. And the price action concepts here, like I said, just break through this here around about seventy. We're, I, we're going to go back up. I have no no two ways about it. This is the pre halving dump. And this is what we're having at the moment. So once we get that half in, it's going to be full rockets on. And dominance for that after the pre-halving 
uh, the pre-halving, obviously Bitcoin may make some big moves to the upside, which is obviously going to push up the dominance as well. So you just got to bear that one in mind as well. So before getting to crypto.com, obviously we've got a new meme coin, which is on the Kronos chain, which is called Core. And we can see here on the day that is made a significant gain. Okay, it's 67,000, uh, 67,67% up on the past 24 hours. But look at that God candle there. So if you've got in very early on this, you've made some serious gains on that. So if you want to buy Core, obviously you could go to uh, the the Kronos uh, DeFi wallet, and you can go to like MF Finance or VVS Finance, uh, and you can purchase there. I think it's chain cross chain uh, swaps you can do on there. From what I can gather, I've not personally bought it myself, so that's what I've just heard. Uh, but yeah, it's up 67% on the day. So yeah, looking quite good. And obviously, it's well up more than that, well up over a thousand percent at the moment. So yeah, looking all strong on that. But we saw Chris the other day on Yes yeah, Squawk Box, which is on CNBC. And he was giving basically a uh, talk for about five, 10 minutes on the state of the markets and how, you know, the reason why we've had this bit of a bit of a dump, obviously the pre-halving dump is because we've got, you know, obviously leverage. Uh, we've got expiry dates coming up as well. Like, so it was giving a bit of a rundown on the market and now he sees it's happening, progressing onwards uh, for into the near future as well. Uh, so, yeah, it was great to see Chris getting uh, crypto.com out there into the wide world and in terms of the US as well. But we can also, like I said, mention Core. So that's been going a lot, trending a lot on Twitter about the Core and that. So it's worth, yeah, if you're interested in that, like I said, go onto the DeFi wallet and you can buy it from there. Uh, and also we've got like some hype about some new announcements coming out on the Kronos chain. Uh, we can see people getting hyped there. And it says here, announcement from Kronos, uh, the upcoming Kronos Titan upgrade. Titan delivers a major performance improvement, allowing the chain to run smoothly, even in times of high transaction traffic. Because we find that a lot of times on exchanges and chains and such like, that they end up going down because it's, uh, the traffic, they can't cope with it. But obviously... Crypto.com and the Kronos have also been working at this very hard. And that's why you've seen like Crypto.com staying up. When, you see, when you've got to see Coinbase going down, not Crypto.com. That's been staying up as it should be. Allowing the chain to run smoothly, even through times of high transaction traffic with 10 times faster block uh, executions. It also lays the foundation of upcoming user-facing features that leverage the best of the Cosmos and Ethereum, such as the interchain account, and accounts abstract so you can click on here and basically it will lead you to you know all the information about this upgrade where it does get in my eye for me quite technical i'm just an investor but it does get quite technical but they just they run it down here quite smoothly for us it's basically speeding everything up making it work perfect like a, a proper oiled machine it is so yeah looking all good and obviously this is again this is why i buy bought into cro because like i said in other videos and many other videos that i see what they're building i see what they're doing crypto.com chronos chain is undervalued the cro is underpriced i really do think in this bull market we're going to go a long way there's going to be lots of money to be made but in that process you've got to expect those dumps to the downside and you enjoy the green candles when you see it and like i said for me i've got my targets where i want to start taking profits i've got that target and you should do too you should have your own plan and sit back and enjoy because when you see these dumps sit back ignore it do your research, find out why these dumps are happening. Do your research, is it because of the high leverage? Just do it, and it puts your mind at ease. Don't listen to some of these influencers, these bears out there, because they, they keep calling $10,000, and like I said earlier in the video, they keep calling that, and so unfortunately, there's all people, because of them, lost out in a lot of money uh, in that. So always do your re re own research, own due diligence, take care, and I'll see you soon in the next video but before we go give us a like and give us a thumbs up always appreciate it see you soon